In this video, we will talk about how the capacitive liquid level sensor works. We all love using plants to brighten up our living spaces, but taking care of them is no easy feat. How to keep these plants alive may cause a headache, especially when we're away for a holiday. Well, in that case, drip irrigation may be a good way to solve this problem. Besides, if we can monitor the water tank and get informed to refill it in a timely manner, then our dear plants may enjoy their vacation just as we do. So how do we know if the water tank is nearly empty? Here, we need to measure its water level. And there are many devices to do that such as float gauges, hydrostatic level sensors, radar level transmitters, and ultrasonic level sensors. But what we use here is a capacitive liquid level sensor. Speaking of capacitive devices, cell phone screens may come to our mind after Steve Jobs brought capacitive technology into the smartphone industry. To get to know capacitive, we have to begin with the capacitor. So what is a capacitor? In 1745, Peter van Musenbroek, a professor from Leiden University in Holland, invented the Leiden jar, which is the original form of capacitor. It is the first device that could store large amounts of electric charge. Then Alessandro Volta invented the voltaic pile, the prototype of the modern capacitor. Afterward, Michael Faraday established the basis for the concept of the electromagnetic field and discovered the first practical applications for the capacitor. The contributions he made to electrical science have changed the world we live in today. Today, we use farad, symbol F, named after Michael Faraday, as the unit of capacitance to indicate the ability of a body to store electrical charges. A capacitor is a device that stores electrical energy in an electric field. It consists of two parallel conductive plates which are separated by air or dielectric. Based on plenty of experiments by our pioneers, we have learned that the capacitance of a capacitor is affected by the area of the plates, the distance between plates, and the permittivity of dielectric material. And the formula shows that capacitance varies with these three parameters. For instance, when the liquid level rises or falls, there would be an alteration in the distance between the plates, the effective area of the plates, or the dielectric medium. This DF robot capacitive liquid level sensor is an example of detecting liquid level by dielectric medium change. When no liquid is detected, the capacitance stays at a fixed value. Otherwise, it shifts with medium changes. Hence, we can determine the presence of liquids by detecting and processing capacitance change. Now, install the liquid level sensor outside the water tank and connect it to a controller. Let's see how it works. When the liquid level falls under the sensing point, a prompt will be sent and the valve will be closed. Refill the water tank and it's all ready to go. If the soil humidity is lower than the threshold, the valve will open to water our plants through drip irrigation. Otherwise, it will close to avoid drowning. Thanks for your likes on our videos. Your support is the greatest power for us to make more videos. What else are you interested in? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, and comment for us.